Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I am so excited. Um, months, months, months ago, uh, Dogwood Gaming and MS Tutorials announced uh, the latest 3D modeling challenge in uh, March to be exact. And the topic is uh, transportation. And since then, a lot of artists have been working very, very hard to put in their entries, okay? 47 in total, uh, really, really awesome. And uh, since it has been posted for voting, over 640 people have commented or voted, all right? So it's time to reveal our uh, top 10 and our top three uh, prize winners. But uh, before we do that, a couple of things we need to uh, go into, okay? So number one is this, uh, we have a brand new modeling challenge, okay? So here we go. Okay guys, well, let's talk about the new modeling challenge. And this one is gonna be completely epic, trust me. It's gonna be completely new. What we're gonna ask you to do is we're gonna ask you to model a famous building or structure in the country where you currently live, okay? So not where you're originally from, if you now live somewhere else, but you have to live there right now. So for example, the Eiffel Tower, the White House, the Taj Mahal, whatever you can come up with, all right? Now you at least need to model the exterior and the model has to be textured. But if you decide to do the interior as well, cool. So what is so epic about this challenge? Well, it's epic because of the prizes. We want to turn the winner's model into a virtual reality model. And what we're gonna do are very, very best for, and this is not a guarantee, we're gonna try based on a lot of moving parts, but we're gonna do our best to get the model of the winner in virtual reality into the Smithsonian Institute in Washington DC in the United States, okay? This has never been done before. Besides that, you will have a bunch of other prizes you can win. Games, uh, software package worth 250 bucks, personal interviews, blogs, all that kind of exposure, okay? So really cool. So take extremely notice of uh, all of the different rules because there are quite a few and you have to follow them to the T. If you do not follow the rules, you will not be able to participate or you will be disqualified later and that would be too bad, okay? So the entry system will change as well. Um, if more than 30 entries come in, let's say 40 or 50, then a professional jury will choose their top 30, okay? It's up to the jury to decide which top 30 models they want. These are the ones that will go online for voting. Once these 30 are online, then everyone has one vote. Anyone can vote on that on YouTube. And once all these votes are in, uh, the professional jury will take the top 15 based on number of votes received. And we will invite these 15 artists to send in their full 3D file, okay? We will then judge that file based on a criteria to see whether it's suitable or not uh, to um, you know, be turned into a VR model. And once that all is said and done, we will announce our number three, two, and one. And like I said, we are going to do our very, very best to get a number one model into the Smithsonian Institute, okay? So uh, uh, please make sure you read the rules carefully, okay? Well, that said, now time to jump into our honorable mentions. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, before we go into the actual announcement of our top 10 and our top three prize winners, we want to do a few honorable mentions, okay? These are uh, four artists that have been picked by Dogwood Gaming and myself uh, based on their modeling skills, based on the overall look and feel of the model, and uh, you know, just the overall skill set, okay? So, uh, first of all, our number four is the black car uh, modeled by Nestor Rios, okay? It is a, a gorgeous time period car and uh, we are so fond of it, and especially Dogwood Gaming, that they would like to ask you, Nestor, if you are okay with your black car being in their brand new 3D game, PDPD, that they are currently uh, creating. Okay, so I think that's uh, quite an honor, but it's up to you, of course. So uh, get in touch with either me or Sam, and uh, we'll uh, make this happen if you want to. Okay, cool. Right, so our number three. Well, our number three is the old car modeled by John Raffert. Now, I consider uh, John Raffert to be a vintage car specialist when it comes to modeling. His uh, models are always awesome, and we really, really like this one. Okay. 
So our uh, number two, when I just need to uh, check my little list, list here, is um, the Sea Dew by uh, Gil Bordeaux. Okay, it's a, a beautiful model, nicely textured, and uh, the overall execution is really, really good. Okay, so congratulations on that. And then our uh, number one pick is the Pirate Ship by Henry Shravenka. Now. Henry has won the last two challenges in a row. Uh, he is an extremely skilled uh, artist and uh, he is in fact so skilled that I would personally like to invite Henry to become part of the uh, jury that will be uh, judging the future challenges for Dogwood Gaming and MH Tutorials. Okay? So if you would like to do that Henry, please get in touch and we'll make that happen. All right? So without further ado, let's uh, jump into our uh, voting results. Here we go. All right, guys, well, we're finally going to jump into our top 10 and we're going to announce our prize winners, number three, two and one. OK, now, before we do that, keep in mind that one of the most important skill sets for a 3D artist is the ability to get word out to the community that you are an artist, that you create art and that you want to make money doing so. OK. So uh, a number of our participants has uh, actively involved their network to gain votes and the top 10 you're going to see right now is based on the number of votes received. OK, so without further ado, let's uh, jump in and see who won. Here we go. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.